just say hello. Hey. Go everybody hi. here. Hey. You can, hey, hey guys. How you doing? You introduce yourselves one by one. Go for it. I'm Brian by what? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm Ryan Hawaii. Yeah. And I'm a human. Thanks. Who Good to meet you, human. Make some art and some music. Yeah. Nice. Mm, the fantastic omelette. <laughs> How many eggs in that omelette do you reckon? Three. Yeah? yeah, yeah. A bit of bacon as well. Yeah, bacon <laughs> as well. Yeah, Don't I'm forget a, the bacon. Yeah, I'm a producer. Nice. Yeah. Hi, I'm Danny OG, aka Biggie Small Stepson. <laughs> wow. I'm a producer and rapper. Okay. Because what I love, first of all, is, is the name Neverland Clan. I mean, it makes me think of are you using music to make your own? Neverland, like it's it's like, yeah, re, yeah. yeah? more or less. Yeah. That's that's okay. So tell me a li little bit more about that. Um, <clears throat> I actually thought of the name like in a Spanish exam. Really? Which was, which was pretty bad. I think I've like got a ungraded for that exam. So that says a lot where my intention. That's not fair. At the time, but um, it's kind of like in Neverland. Wow. In the, fiction, uh, come on, bro. in the fictional place of Neverland, like you could never grow old. Yeah. So that's what we're all about, like embodying the eternal youth concept. Yeah. In the way that we make music and art or whatever we do. And we try to live a legacy through our music as well. Like you can live forever, eternal youth. It's, it's See, the legacy is growing already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Words got out. Words got out. Exactly. Yeah. So you're deaf. You would say you are. You are like new gen lost boys yeah, making your own world through music yeah, and art de and de 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 degenerates. Yeah, yeah. Degenerates. I'll, I'll be. I'll be thirty and still be eighteen in the morning. Can I be Tinkerbell? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you, can have you, you can do that. Tinkerbell. Part of our land. That's cool. So obviously like we're here because of G Star and Boiler Room coming together. So first of all, G Star fashion, I know you make clothes design clothes as well and like obviously for all of us what the clothes we wear is, is kind of as important as the music we listen to. What what is the link for you guys between music and fashion and how important is that link? I think it's just both forms of expression. Yeah. Like you can express yourself through what you wear and through the music you make mm. or the music you listen to. Well, that's the way it comes together, kind of. And like, people generally like this. If you like music, you like fashion because it's part of what, music it's and fashion together. have been interlinked for a long time. Yeah. From time Tupac walked to Versace like, years ago before I was even born or something. <laughs> it's been together. Like. True. Yeah. I think yeah. it's <clears throat> it's come to a time where like there's more multidisciplined like artists. Yeah. So I think you know, like none of us just do one thing. Do you know what I mean? So Daniel produces and raps and used to be a stylist. So we've got like a fashion background, omelette raps and is a producer. Yeah. And a personality. Mix and master <laughs> and that's his own. Yeah, yeah it does mix mixing and mastering. Yeah. Master. yeah. yeah. It's the yeah. whole like DIY <laughs> DIY kind of thing. Yeah, so you've it's, got that three sixty in every single yeah. aspect. It's, it's kinda I mean, like what's the point of me paying someone to do something when I could just learn? Yeah. And then do it myself. And have you taught yourself yeah, how to make music, like everything, produce everything? everything. Self-taught. Yeah. yeah. Everything self-taught. So, yeah. That's the best way because then you can create your own sound. Yeah. 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 Using templates, like following tra traits. Tra yeah, tra definitely. Because yeah. well, I, I just want to say now I'm not a designer, I'm an artist. Okay. Because I, because I can't make clothes, like I paint. You draw as well. Draw yeah. yeah. Draw clothes, clothes is the medium. Clothes is the medium of it. Right. And I guess like drawing onto clothes is like writing lyrics onto a track. Yeah, it's yeah, just kind of another there. form. Even on our dungarees, then we have lyrics. On the dungarees that we perform in, usually at shows, um, we've got lyrics. like all our lyrics on it and stuff like that. Oh, wicked! Just memorable sayings and stuff that just means stuff to us. Like, that's what we put on our clothes. Yeah. yeah. Well, we've got some of your fans. Some visitors. Yeah. Like, Yo. <laughs> Yo, what's up? Good. <laughs> <laughs> Much. <laughs> no, because there's a, there's a lyric that stands out for me. It's like stuck in a world without creativity or with no creativity. Yeah. And I wondered if for you guys, because you're like brothers, lost boys in a clan, yeah. does that help you to keep your own creative energy alive? Because you buzz off each other, you inspire yeah, each other yeah, yeah. to be more. That's what we're about. Because like. I mean, before I met him, the music I was making was not what it is now. It's different. Okay. Yeah. So it's like since we've come together. So we just like something's yeah something's made 
Mm. And you think? And what's the change like? I think. I don't know. It is. It is being around each other. It's I like think. A, yeah. I think it's like in Dragon Ball Z, you know, when they come, come <laughs> get stronger. Yeah. That's how they become one. Like, it's deep. You I think, although, like, we might not have like loads and loads of songs together. It's like when we're actually making the music, the energy, the it's energy terrible. is always there. But yeah. the studio is like in my bedroom. <clears throat> yeah. So I'm like, we're always together. Mm. And, he'll be. He'll you know, be painting. I'll be on my laptop, he'll be on like, his laptop. Someone will be making a beat and then like I might just start singing a hook. Yeah. And then Daniel will take it to another place or Daniel might say something and I'll be like, yo, that'll be a sick lyric and then whatever. Do you know like we bounce off each other? Yeah, that's right. Really and I cool. think it's it comes from us being friends before we even made music. So how did did you meet at school or No. Nah, so I met he lives five minutes down the road from me, but I didn't know for about fifteen years. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then met him Friendly through, place. Yeah, exactly. I met him through um, a guy who went to my school, and yeah. him, and then we just started chilling together, made him music, and then... I met Ryan when I was styling. He had a brand called Nubian, which was amazing, and I used one of his products, and then we just hit it off, so as soon as we met, like, yeah. exchanged girls, yeah, yeah, yeah. linked up, went out. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, we go out together, like, just have fun, like. yeah. Where'd you go out? Everywhere and everywhere. Everywhere except Visions. Yeah. Oh really? <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> Whoa, yeah. that's dark. But yeah. <laughs> yeah fun. No, shout out to Visions. Shout that's shout that's, that's that's a sometimes thing. <laughs> that's, no, that's it seems like we're shading it. Yeah, no, 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 no. Cut that. Cut that. I'm trying to have belief with anyone. Yeah, I know. I don't know. I mean, there's but there's quite a lot of angst in the music sometimes, isn't there? Yeah. I like, I like to use um, the word. I made, um, yeah. I made most of our last project when I was at uni. The PlayStation EP? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so it was when I was at uni. This guy. I thought I recognised it all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used hey. to live with him at uni. And, okay. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how we met. Not that I'm a part of this. <laughs> no, you're, you're very much part of it now. He goes under Brum. He yeah, goes under Brum, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. He's, 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 from he's, the old one to one. That's a yeah. What's that? <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, most of it was made when I was at uni and it was good, but it wasn't the case for me. So it was messy. You know you see, yeah, seem a bit happier now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if I can now. say that. Yeah. yeah. So that's where I think most of that comes from in terms of like the sound of it. Yeah. I have like a different, com not completely different, but like a different kind of sound. There is a different vibe, definitely. Yeah, it's a happy but It works together. Yeah. Like, you know, stage, we bounce off each other. Because when we perform, we go back to back. Okay. So it's like, it's it's like it's a mood changer. Isn't it? Yeah. It's, Definitely. It's a journey. I don't know. Yeah, it's like a journey. Yeah. As well, I think if we all made, if we're all in the group and we all made the same time, same type of music, we will get to a point where it's a bit like you're yeah, competition, oh, competition yeah. with each other. Yeah. yeah. And you're becoming a brand, and yeah, it's fixed, yeah. and it's yeah. like and it's yeah, really like cool. people. It's one of them ones where people can like our music and Daniel's music, mm. but if we made like exactly the same type of music, they'll always prefer one or the other. So it will never be a thing where it allows everyone to have their own platform. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean. Yeah, but we're still because you can go from like the swagger of Bad Boy mm. with Dan, yeah, and, then and then into the PlayStation EP, it's much it's much sketchier. Dark, like, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. But that's cool. I mean, that's the power of music as well. Is that yeah. it's. Is giving you different emotions. That different, yeah, those voices, yeah. Absolutely. I mean, whilst you're, it's definitely really fresh, really distinctive what you're doing. Would you still say that there's something very British or something very London or even East London about what you're doing? Would you still like own up to that, or would you yeah, say you're, yeah, yeah. 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 definitely London because we just where we what we we're inspired by what we grew up on. Yeah. Grand music, R and B, like. Because we're outcasts, we even like went over to like, the heavy metal side. Like, Absolutely. So it's just like we're inspired by a lot of different things, and that's through growing up and yeah, yeah. The internet as yeah, well. Yeah. Out. So yeah. Where it just comes I think to even work. like we reflect London in a sense that none of us are from the same ethnic background. Mm. We all like different things. We all, you know, are from all. Different we're area. both from the same area, but Daniel's from, from a different area. area, and yet we're all friends. Like that's yeah. what it's like in London. You have friends of all different races, yeah. and it's so like it's enriching for you. Do you know what I mean? Mm. You've got all them different cultural influences mm. coming Daniel into one. what what you're doing. Do you know what I mean? Because as Daniel said, we grew up on grime, like in a in a local sense. You yeah. Know what I mean, like everyone had sixteen, 
was like barring around their phone in yeah, London. Like that was, that's how it was. Wow. And ridden on your phone. But also we <laughs> had the internet. <laughs> yeah. Back of the bus. In the back of the bus. Back of the bus. In the circle. Yeah, for real. But then also we had the internet, so it's like yeah. We get that other influence. Yeah. That's it, because of course, like boiler room is is another reason why why we're here tonight. I mean, yeah. how important. It's absolutely essential, isn't it? Like the, those online platforms and the social platforms. Do you think you'd be doing what you're doing now without that? It would be a lot harder. It would be harder. Yeah. But, we would, but I would. Because yeah. We do it for yeah. yeah. And any anything else is a plus. Yeah. Mm. So about a year, I didn't put anything on the internet anyway. I just had it in my room. So. Yeah, and it still seems like you've not like gone crazy, like yeah. putting yourselves, you know. It, yeah, not you're not overexposing yourself yeah, yeah. in that way. I think, but uh, like we're kind of everything's kind of calculated. Like we always, I don't know. We've Even though we look like we're always having fun making jokes, like we actually we, do have serious meetings. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> like we plan in like, business like, Okay. Business. So what's next on the agenda? Well, I'm dropping an EP in a couple of days called Art Attack. Wicked. Just a bunch of my influences. And it's I'm classic. Just, yeah. yeah. I'm too humble. Let I, let me say it because say he, it. he won't say it. But <laughs> to me, like, I'm his biggest fan, even though like I know him in it. Yeah. But like, it's back to back classics, in my opinion. Obviously, I'm biased, but yeah. that's that's the way I look at it. Isn't it? Yeah. I want it to make people feel good. It's like I want it to be a feel good kind of EP. It's like yeah, that's it. I'm a like, boost. It, yeah. But there's also a truth in it. But the truth is good though. Yeah. Mm. So it's nice. It's a nice balance. And is that self-released or on, yeah, on a, yeah. Self-released, but I don't cool. Know. Nev it's a Neverland release, in fact. It's not even right. Yeah. So Neverland people can. Where can people band. find it? Just SoundCloud, SoundCloud or? SoundCloud. I might make some physical copies if I get good reception. Mm. But right now, for, it will be on SoundCloud and Bandcamp. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And lastly, like, what can we expect from your set tonight? Are you going to be putting right. out some different moods or? I'm going to be dancing a lot. Yeah. It's going to be a riot. <laughs> <laughs> Screaming, singing, dancing, and a riot, and a little sweat. <laughs> yeah, sweat and, and maybe yeah. hopefully hopes. no blood. No, 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 maybe no, no, a, maybe no, the no, odd tear. Yeah, blood. you yeah. want blood? Maybe yeah. someone's tooth. Like, yeah, a little, a little <laughs> nosebleed. <laughs> nosebleed or something. Yeah. I don't mind. That's not bad though. <laughs> no, there's, 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 there's a lot. There's a lot worse things happening. Yeah, we'll talk. that's true. I want someone to lose their shoe. That's all. Only me. <laughs> I always, I always have a casualty. I always trip on the can't, stage. Yeah, we can't or trip up. We can't trip up. Because <laughs> <laughs> when we perform, we sometimes jump into the crowd and then jump back onto the stage. Amazing. For some reason, I always trip. Man, jumping, getting back onto the stage is always my worst thing. It's hard for long yeah, looks, you know. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's harder. It's like, is it that if high? If I flop, yeah, is it every? Oh, but anyway, that's another story. <laughs> <laughs> another story for another time. Well, listen, thank you so much for talking to thank us today, you, and uh, we look forward to tonight. All right. Squaw!